What do you do when you run out of ideas for stories? And that is a scary one. Let's hope that that never happens. Thankfully, uh, I don't find myself in that place very often. Sometimes you get stuck, obviously, but that's part of the job. You gotta find a solution. Who is the most difficult Marvel character to develop in a story? Whether it be story, art, dialogue, etc., etc. Uh, the most difficult character to develop in a story. You know, I don't find too many of them terribly difficult. Sometimes I think Thor is a little more challenging just because the language is a little different. Uh, so finding that voice can be a little tricky, but he's still a character that I enjoy writing. How is continuity maintained? How much research do you have to do before writing a new series or is there creative freedom? Well, there's a lot of creative freedom, but you definitely need to keep continuity in mind. So I try to do my research, read up on past runs of characters, uh, you know, just immerse myself in the back catalog of a character before I write them. It's always really helpful. A lot of times you get new story ideas from it. So I like to use continuity as a strength as much as I can. Which Marvel character do you like writing about the most? Uh, my favorite Marvel character is Spider-Man. Um, but I love writing lots of them. Uh, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, Iron Man, Captain America. Uh, I have a lot of favorites, uh, so uh, it's tough to choose there. What Avenger would you choose to be your roommate? That is, see that is the kind of question they need prep time for. I'm tempted to say Ant-Man because he can shrink down and take up very little space and you would think that that would mean less clutter. Um, but uh, Scott is kind of a disaster as a human being, so it would probably backfire. I think that you gotta go with somebody like T'Challa, uh, you know, very put together, uh, very formal, probably very neat. So uh, I'm gonna go with Black Panther on this one. What type of degree do you need to become a comic book writer? There are absolutely zero qualifications to being a comic book writer. That's one of the most appealing things about the job.